What's going on, everybody? This is Clay from Merlin's Vault. Today I am joined with a special guest who is... Zach! And he actually has an activity that we're going to do today with magic. And we just played a commander game, so I'm pretty excited about this. What are we doing today? So we're going to make up a... I don't know if it's an actual name of it or not, but we're going to start off by playing a game that we call... Home Run Derby. So we have a new set from Ravnica Remastered here. And what we're gonna do is we're each gonna pull out 10 packs okay. and then we're going to pull, uh, open those packs and whoever has the most big hits off those packs is going to win the game. And the winner of the game actually gets to open up a uh, collector booster from the same set. All right, they call me a top 40 hip hop artist because I got a lot of hits. Hey! <laughs> right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All, All right. right, let's get started. So you're going to start this, and correct me if I'm wrong, a very surgical incision with the, the Gerber. The Gerber baby. Yeah. yeah okay. So what you want to do is slice it very carefully. Oh, oh gosh. And that just goes right through there. It does. I only sharpened one part of that blade. Can <laughs> you believe that? All right. Let's see what we got going on here. The rest of it is dull as a button. Dull as a button? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, it's, it's fighting there. It's, it's, it's fighting first one I've ever done a fan. So how kidding. dare you show you if you want to get a lot of hits. Sloppy patch. Alright, so okay. we have three full sets here. Maybe we'll break them up and do the other ones too. But So we'll have one set. There is a lot of packs. <laughs> Another pack in there. Okay. And then we'll keep this one off to the side. Now, do you want to shuffle any of these up so we can get like a really fair kind of... No, I think that we should do it as God intended. Okay. Just, uh... <laughs> and in God, we mean the uh, manufacturer. No, actually, in oh. God, I mean Tiamat, the God of the D&D. Oh, Tiamat! Okay, if Tiamat said so, <laughs> then we're doing it. Like, we're right. back after this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut for the middle. I'm okay. Try. So I'll try, I'll do, the, I'll do the first pack, you know, break it open. Good luck. Well, thank you. May the best chosen of Tiamat win. <laughs> <laughs> so, a centaur <laughs> token, we'll keep that off to the side. Let's see here, okay. we're gonna have a Deer Mare Guild Bridge and a Tap Tool. Ooh. Oh, that's a very nice, sorry, it's a nice retro. It's kind of like the retro border that they have now, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's actually a big fan of this. I got very a cool. cloak. Very nice. Oh, Crackling Drake, that's not too bad. I like that. Worst I'm crackling with anticipation for this draft opening. <laughs> Whenever it turns out. Oh, very nice. Very okay. Nice. Oh, you know what? This mm -hmm. is really great for a mill deck, and all you need to do is have uh, a ton of them into your deck. You can have any okay. number of them. So if you have a mill deck, you know, 100 cards, it's pretty nice. Yes. Oh, you get a lot of that. Uh, what's that faction called with the all the advisors in it? The advisors. Oh. It's, yeah, it's like all blue, right? Where it's just a nothing but um, Aristocats. Mm -hmm. Aristocats. Aristocats. Nothing but cats. It's nothing but cats and kittens. Nothing but a couple of kittens over here. Hey, Actually, we're big fans of this, uh, this card as well. I, I, I love finding that one in one of my burn decks. Skewer the critics. Yep. No big hits in that one. No hits. I mean, let's see what these YouTube comments are going to be like. Have to do some skewering. Skewering. Birds! Mm -hmm. Burp. Nice bird. Yeah. Uh, oh, Signet. Always good. Oh, nice! Okay, Sphinx Revelation. I like that. That's a good one. Beautiful. I don't know if we can call it a hit, but... Mm -hmm. Alright, there's Plasma. Okay. Isn't it Charm? Ooh, I am... You know, you're quite the charming man there, Klaus. Oh! Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> a frog! Destroy target artifact. Earth in the sky. Defend. Hey, that could actually be good in a bit of a Sapperling kind of situation, like yeah. in one of those kind of decks. Yeah, we just played a commander match where the mm -hmm. Sapperling deck actually won. I'm in an aristocratic kind of mood. Hmm. Human soldier. Should okay. I keep going? You want to crack some packs yourself? Uh, you go for it. I, mean, I gotta see what my competition's like. Oh, man. I gotta tell you, I don't think we have a lot in this one. Oh, that's actually a really pretty spirit token. I like that one. Okay. Is there anything on the back? Uh, yeah, it's just an ad. Okay. So I wish that they had like the <laughs> double tokens. You have a command here, like one on each oh, side. Defender. Okay, yes, I like that. Classic. Like peanut butter and oh. jelly. Have you used a lot of these? No, I have no idea what that is, other than it's a rare because of that rarity yeah. thing. It's actually it's pretty cool. So what okay. we're what we're looking at here is this is when you play the card, you actually get the choice between two cards. Okay. So when you play it, it activates as only that card. 
but you get two abilities of it, and they usually have a high mana cost and a low mana cost. Gotcha. So. That's interesting. It I was is. gonna get the scissors. You should not see my collection of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're just very small. It's really hard to find sleeves. <laughs> is it cards? Yeah, there's a lot in here. Um, okay. Is it is kind of big in Ravnica. Mm -hmm. So uh, this guy here, he's a great human soldier. I want him in a lot of my soldier decks because Ooh, you get helium done. squirter. Helium squirter. Wow. It's just okay. I gotta say, yeah, as cool as that card is, it's a little bit too sexual. That would have been my name of my um, uh, air balloon uh, water park. Oh! Helium squirters. You should still do that though. You could have t-shirts. Surprisingly, it's an 18 plus. It's <laughs> <laughs> Anyone under that just keeps giggling about that card. I don't know why. Um, okay, so... Gob ooh, goblins! You know, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they're not a big fan of the artwork of the goblins in Magic. Really? I gotta say, I love them. I okay. Do. I'm a pretty big fan of the goblins. I'm very used to Azorius, that's what I was thinking of. Azorius, Azorius Guild. Oh, that's still that's on Rakdos, here we go. Hey, blind obedience. Okay. Yeah. Ar okay, so this one artifacts and creatures your opponent control enter the battlefield tapped. So that's actually a pretty solid uh cost for only two. Yeah. It's kind of like a sorted consult, which is a one cost white. Mm -hmm. It does the same thing except you gain a life as well. But this is also really good. So and yeah. the battlefield tap, that gives you a lot, that gives you an extra turn. This is why we got him. He, he knows what he's talking I'm gonna about. Call, I'm gonna call that a minor league hit. Minor oh, league hit? That one. Yeah, that's like a double. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider that a double or like a first base hit? Uh, I think like we just made a double. Okay. okay. Like that's actually good. I like this aura as well. So like, I mean, it's green, so six is basically four. Mm -hmm. And then you can sacrifice it for a worm. It go great into either an aura deck or a token deck. That's Excellent. Really nice. I would consider a Niv Mizzet Heron a anime a, a home run. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Would you agree with that? Oh, 100%. Okay. Soldiers again, and then we'll Koromo. I like Car that. Karomo. It's like a like a Hadouken, but boomerang. <laughs> but the boomerang Hadouken. <laughs> Look how angry she is. Look at that face. <laughs> oh She's my God. Did the artist really just make it that that size, or they're just like, can we just get that little section? I, I think like so. That. I think it was like a whole portrait they probably just wanted to do. Probably. Uh, Burn bright. Spirit. Not as cool as the last spirit, but it's pretty good. Okay. Another signet. Okay. Ooh, Lavina, I need that card. Yeah. Each opponent can't cast a non-creature spell with mana value greater than the number of lands that player controls. Excellent. And opponents can't cast a spell if no mana was. You know, not bad. Would have been great against that Chaos deck we just played against you. Yes, definitely. The Six, Gods of Chaos. Seven. I was just turning things into other things. That's how oh, I do it. Nice wizard. Nice uh, Simic wizard. Mm-hmm. This is the Ironwood. Downsize, not a bad movie, gotta say. It wasn't a great movie. <laughs> It wasn't a bad movie. Let's say I think like ninety percent <laughs> of the audience were very disappointed with what's yeah, going on. End of the movie, on. they're just like, "Wow!" So he just, uh, just kind of moved on with his life. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a cool concept. Though, it's a right? great concept. Yeah. Did Thanos ever consider just like, I'm just making everybody tiny? Yeah, just making kind of like really small. We have pin particles. You know, I think we actually get really lucky with the fact that yeah. all aliens are the same size. <laughs> Uh, Call of the so Conclave true. here. I actually, this is actually, I really like this card. So it's a sorcery, just creates a 3-3 three, three for 2. Okay. But what I really like about it is uh, just how it's jumping over the ledge. The big hoofness it has mm -hmm. going on. And it answers the age-old question, how do you armor a centaur? So creatures, okay, so we have an emblem here for what okay. looks, looks like a planeswalker. We have another signet, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Another retro frame. Girl signature. Flip really a good. coin. If you win, take an extra turn after this one. Stitch in time. Minor league hits. You know, Minor that's league hits. Basically, I like that. Vault. This is a not great card for your uh, yeah. commander because it's the same thing oh. as that creature, but it's still pretty good. Gotcha. I mean, I guess it would go great against tokens. I have not played a game of modern or like standard, I guess. Um, I have a hard, hard opinion on that one. I, I have played it. I mean, I play a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but Commander just always is what pulls me back. Actually, 60%, I believe, by the statistic that I haven't looked up besides mm -hmm. what someone telling me, is 60% uh, of the players only play Commander. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a... You hey. should take that to heart. We're growing. We're growing. We're growing society. Yeah. We love playing with more people. Yeah. We like to conform to the popular beliefs. Yeah. I only play Commander. That's true. Yeah. And currently, a 100% win rate. That is true. We have another Hoblin the Goblin. 
Bob I can't believe Scarlett Johansson actually flew all the way in for this opening. <laughs> right. She didn't want to be on screen. Yeah, it makes sense. Are you sure? I'm good. Alright. <laughs> Goblin Electromancer. That's kind of cool. It uh, allows you to cast it. It's a really great is it staple. Okay. Um, it's a uncommon and uh, instance and sorceries cast one less a spell. Looks retro for all the boomers, the magic boomers out there. Yeah, and you can actually cut this one in half again for your mini decks. I mean, I've been cutting with the knife, so they're not the easiest cuts. That's you really don't want to see that collection there, Zach. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure once you uh, get enough of them, it would be a pretty hard modern deck to beat. We could get some tape and they just go right together in a sleeve. Spring Agent, Cardi Guard, Burning Prophet, Last Gasp. That's a Last Gasp. Last Gasp. Interesting. Shrew Shambler. Mm -hmm. It's a nice swamp walk. Yeah. I gotta tell you, uh, we are doing pretty low on the hit list right now. I think you got a pretty good chance of winning this one. I think I, I'm feeling okay. I think you've got, you know, like after all this, maybe base is loaded. Maybe, maybe you're due for a good hit. <laughs> Base is uh, loaded. <gasps> what is that? It's a pretty, is it, Gar? Oh uh, my god. It's pretty. It still comes in tap, though, so we can't count that as a hit. We can't count Copy that? enchantment. Okay, this is good. It okay. You, uh, you may have copy enchantment enter the battlefield as an enchantment, a copy of an enchantment on the battlefield. And I have to say, I really respect a card that tells you exactly what it is in the name. You know, there's no flip Absolutely. Around. I'm going to count that as a single. You know, I was saying the same thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, like, bat. I know, in fact, I'm looking at a bat. That is true. Yeah. And then sure. they had dark bat, and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> you can't see it, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Judge is familiar. Okay. It's good for an owl deck, totally lost. I really like this card. I thought this said totally loot, and I was about to get really confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Welcome to School of Rock. Ooh. Okay, the whole goal for this entire pack opening today is mm -hmm. one chocolate. Just one. Yes. That's all I want is just one. I'll take one chocolate. One Rosario Vampire looking card. It'd be great. Hey, okay. Ooh, a borderless there we go. spark double? Yeah, borderless spark double. And the battlefield nice. is a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it has an additional 1 1 counter on it if it's a creature. If it is a planeswalker, it's an additional loyalty counter. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That is cool. Counter is a single. We'll count it as a single. Going through, to the guy on second wasn't paying attention, so he's yeah. just like, what? Oh, shit. Yeah, so there's a second in first base. Sinister Sabotage, Greater Forge, Call of the Conclave. Disembowel. Disembowel. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, uh, destroy target creature with mana value of X. What if it said just like draw two cards, discard one? And you're like, what? how does that have to anything to do with Disembowel? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that should be a custom. <laughs> I'm gonna make a custom card. <laughs> Like what you were saying, like it's very clear what this card does. I'm like, what if there's one that's just completely, <laughs> completely opposite? opposite? You win the game. What happens when you play it? You lose the game. If I was a designer, my chaotic, my chaos <laughs> would take over immediately. True. Predictive vampire. Ooh. Oh, assembly of the legion. This is a great card when you're running any red white deck. Period. Okay. But also tokens or soldiers. Because mm -hmm. um, it creates a soldier return. I run this in pretty much all of my yeah. uh, tribals. So. If I wasn't part of Is It, Boros would be like my next best. Yeah. I like Boros. Boros is really good. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that a lot. Nice little game joining faction there. Titanic Rome. Okay. Paradox. Cloud Raptor. Boros Elite. Mm hmm. That's the game. Tin Street Dodger. Again, like, okay. look at that art. Great name. Goblins are always so fun. Taste of Mayhem. If Clay could have a theme, I feel like this would be it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got two left. two left. Two left. Mm -hmm. See if I can make it off the bases here. Hey, there we go. Stomping All right. ground. That's a good one. Stomping ground. That's our first shock land for the day. I want to count that as a hit. I would. That's pretty much. That's a good one. It is. It Mountain is. Mountain sports. Horn caller chant. Mm -hmm. Keymaster run. Syndicate messenger. Root born defenses. Leapfrog. Frog. It's amazing. You flying as long as you cast as it. I want to build a whole frog deck based around just this one little guy. Oh, yeah. Under City Embrace. Mm -hmm. Cranko's Command. Can't go wrong with these basics. Okay. I think that stomping round is really going to put you in the lead here. It could. It could. it could be because you're in the lead because I haven't opened anything yet, but you're I'm definitely in the lead. I'm going to count it as just me being in the lead. Okay. Sporling. Enjoy it while you can. Got a Sporling token here. Nice. A Sporling deck could use a Sporling token. <laughs> I'm going to slide that over there. Actually, uh, Reco Skilled Gate. And we're filming a show here. 
ghost way. Nice. It's a uh, we have a nice foil way right there. Okay. Exile each creature you control. Return those to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. So this actually works in a few ways. So if you're getting attacked for a board wipe or mm -hmm. something along those areas, you could actually, uh, or if someone's going to do destroy all creatures. What you can play is you could play Ghost Way, and then at the end of your turn, they don't come back, but at the end of the next player's turn, they would all come back on the battlefield. So you avoid a board wipe, and uh, you really only have to wait one turn. So. Excellent. And it's a, it's a, a white. It, it is white. It is white. Exile and white. Massacre Girl. Massacre Girl is sol solid. Mm -hmm. uh, I run her in one of my uh, human decks. Okay. Enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus one, minus one to the end of the turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets minus one, minus one. That's hype. I would rather read a comic book about Massacre Girl. It sounds like it would be pretty cool. Yeah. Sprouting Strong, Band Together, Hazareth Esther, Goblin Electromancer. Mm hmm. <gasps> the Sky Knight Legionary. I just put the, that was one of the last cards I picked up to put in my Knight deck. I mean, it's an uncommon, but Flying Haste 2 2 for 3. It's not It's not bad, especially when yeah. you're running with a Knight keyword deck. Ooh, All right. Act of Treason? That's not bad. Not bad. So let's see what I got here. Let's do a okay. recap of what I think are some okay hits. Okay. Undoubtedly, a solid hit we got is Stomping Ground. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Flip a coin, a stitch in time, blind obedience, ghost way, yep. assemble the legion, double spark, mm -hmm. copy enchantment. Out of all, if you remember any of the legendary creatures, uh, and if we were doing a draft, who, what uh, creature were you uh, thinking about building a deck around? Well, so for a draft, you can pick just any cards. But if you do a commander draft, which is 60. Yeah, um, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, if I were to build around one, oh, you know, I didn't even think about that. We'll have to do that one next time. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that question in consideration <laughs> for my, my little stack here. How about whoever opens the collector booster, they have to pick which one and then build a commander around one of the legendaries we pull. Okay. There we go. Okay. Don't Anime girls. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for weeaboo shit. All right. I love that. You can edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bird Illusion. We've got Simic Guild Gate, a green blue. Nice. Quick in. That's a oh, that's a oh, hollow. Yeah, nice Instant. hollow Metrofoil. And you always get to draw a card. I feel like a lot of blue you just end with draw another card. Hmm. Uh, Muddle the Mixture. We've got hey, okay. another one for your little mini deck. Response and Resurgence. Did yeah. you notice how they usually play off each other? Yes. Yeah. That's really nice. Magic the Gathering is clever. It is clever. It is clever. Also pay your artists. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Skullcrack. I actually heard they got the artist from Skullcrack from Fiverr. No way. That's a good that's a good call. That is not real. Dave Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm like, really? That's awesome. <laughs> Night Veil vale Predator, that's pretty cool looking. It's a vampire with death touch, hexproof. Um, some cool flavor text, oh, probably. Nice. Uh, angelic Exaltion. Is that's that a, a good one? I like that one, yeah. It's uh, whenever it attacks a line, it gets XX for each other creature. So if you run it in tokens mm -hmm. and you have one that is a flyer, you're able to get a lot of damage. Excellent. Yeah. All right, Wild Canter. Well, hey, I do need a Wild Canter. Uh, kind of putting together a little Corval uh, side side piece. Oh, there we go. Uh, Drudge Beetle, pretty nice. Totally lost. It's only really helping. Conclave Equinot. Equinot, that's a good word. Compulsive Research, Debtor's Transport. What is this creature? This is amazing. It's like a Studio Ghibli creature. Yeah, from Spirited Away. Like one of the scary ones in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Burning Tree Vandal. All right, Human Rogue. Uh, Sewer Shambler. All right, we've already seen Sewer Shambler. Elf Knight. We've got Golgari Guildgate. I think we got that before. Um, Azorius Guildgate. We've got, oh, oh a Chromatic that's Lantern. A that's really nice. That is, yeah, that is a great borderless Chromatic Lantern. That's beautiful. That I think that's anywhere from five to 10 bucks right there. I could put that aside. Oh yeah, that's definitely a hit. Sphinx of New Prav. We've got Light Up the Stage. I like that. I, do, I like anything that's a spectacle cost in red. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we've got, ooh, another card that I really like, Mayhem Devil. That's another good comic book cover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Mayhem Devil has uh, a pretty cool sacrifice effect, so that would be a good Corvold deck. Um, 
Good card for your deck. Consider that one. Siege Worm, because Corvald is all about sacrificing your permanents. So, Armor Guard or Artifacts, I mean. Oh, I think it's Artifacts. Yeah, Artifacts. Armory, Army, Armory Guard. Uh, we've got Deputy of Acquittals. Kiora's Dam Breaker. Undercity's Embrace. More Sacrifice. We've got Rebel Belt Maka. He's a cat. He is. With like six eyes. That's a rat. Gob Hobbler. I'm going to use that. <laughs> gob Hobbler? In the, in the city if someone's making me mad. Bobble the Goblin. Hob Gobbler Rat. Oh, go hobble now the gob. <laughs> and Burglar Rat. Burglar Rat. Perfect. Awesome. Do you have a... Do you have a, a rat deck? Uh, I do an arena. I run two rat commanders and a rat 60 card. There is like a rat legendary creature that I saw there's, recently, there's right? There's a couple of them, yeah. There's a sphinx. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Ooh, Signet. and is it Signet? That's mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, Fate's Fetters. Sounds okay. okay. He's got a little... Yeah, I like his face. Bottled Coyster. Or else, Guild Mage, uh, two arms, untap all creatures you control, draw a card. Utopia Sprawl, I don't know why I did that. We're back. Okay, we're back. Utopia all Sprawl. All these have not been changed. Yes. I think it's got a cutoff after 11 minutes. Oh, interesting. Sprouting Renewal, uh, Judge's Familiar, Titanic Brawl, Face Fetters, Quench, Arrester's Zeal, Dog pile. Oh, poor guy. Oh no. Yeah, got... that was the guy that you thought was cute. Yes. He just got, <laughs> he got wrecked. Eaten by his dog. Coiling Oracle. We've got Blade Juggler. Okay. So we got eight packs left. Yes. Here we go. Bird. B Bird. Bird is the word. Selesnia Guildgate. Dark oh. Confident. That's a human wizard. That's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, greatness at any cost. Top card of your library. Put that in your hand. Ooh, that's really nice. I might consider that later. Farseek. That's actually great. Farseek was one of the ones that they reprinted in this set. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really great for a commander, especially when you're running like a four or five color commander deck. Okay. So that's one of the reprints from this set. Ooh, excellent. Oh, excellent. I got some architecture that's kind of mm -hmm. looks like that. Uh, Golgari Guild Mage. Mistral Charger. Glow Spore Shaman. That's pretty cool. Horn Caller's Chant. Patra Hydrix. Rootborn Defensives. Cloudfin Raptor. Bulwark Giant. She is giant. Raising Populous. Cranko's Command. Greater Forgeling. Last Gasp. Okay. I did a, did a Putrefy. I didn't know if you saw that. Uh, that's in one of the decks there. Ooh, a dragon token. Oh, jinx. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, another Stopping hit. Rounds. Stopping rounds. I think your art was a little bit better. Ooh, demolish. That's pretty yes, nice. Two solid hits. Destroy a target artifact, so I'm going to put that aside. Is uh, it charm? Is it charm? Good. Legion war boss. I mean, come on. Look at that goblin. That's solid for a Cranko deck. That is really good. A goblin soldier. Sab wound. We got Siege of Towers. Lightning Helix. Love Lightning Helix. Forced Landing. Well, that's why I pulled it for you. Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, Slitherhead. That <laughs> Slitherhead. <laughs> I don't know why. I just imagine like a bunch of Slitherhead snakes in like a Motorhead band. <laughs> Slitherhead. Math Warrior, such a Slitherhead. <laughs> Shut up, you gob hobbler. <laughs> Keymaster Rogue. Goblin Electromancer. We got Boros Elite. Tin Street Dodger. He's a Tin Street Dodger. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> Alley Denson. Macabre Waltz. Okay. You know, like old school Disney used to have a lot more of like skeletons that look like that. It's like a Black Cauldron. Hey! Spoiler! Hey yo! I'm putting that aside. Uh, no reason. Gruel Signet. Is, is that for me? Yep. You got another spoiler. Yes, Scarjo. God dang. Uh, I near. <laughs> Kaya, Wars Off Usurper. We got a Planeswalker. Oh, nice. It's very She's cool. pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate Price. We got Demir Guild Gage. Guild Mage. Wow. Nightvale Sprite. We got Rampaging Redhorn. 
with Riot. We got a Footlight Fiend. Uh, that's pretty cool. Dies, deal one damage to any target. Uh, Classic Devil. Sinister Sabotage. Sinister Sabotage. The Dalkin Mesmerist. Syndicate Messenger. Bird. <laughs> Birds are the word. Fresh Face Recruit. Act of Treason. Oh, that's her face. Look, you can see it right there. Yeah, that's absolutely right. That one guy got all the good loot, and now he's just like <laughs> attacking his head and his friends. Uh, Scab Clan Mauler, Human Berserker, Balustrade Spy. All right, here we go. Big hits off yeah. <laughs> what will we get next? Oh, righto. We've got <laughs> Boros Guildgate. Blind Obedience. Oh, nice. Very cool. Another one? I think I counted that as a second base hit. So Another one. Another one. Junk Troller. That was a second base hit? I, I believe can, so. I count. I think that's a pretty decent hit. I mean, is it an expensive hit? No, but it's a good hit. It's a good hit. That's what matters. Uh, we've got Wasteland Viper. Selesnian Guild oh, Mage. Sprawling. Oh, it's in white, though. What? The sprawl. Oh, yeah, I see. But if she wanted to go into planes. Go from the dark side to the light side. Yeah. I mean, like, what a journey. After taking the One Ring to, Mor uh, to Mordor, uh, Forced Adaption, Band Together, Morning Thrall, Radical Idea. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I get it. Azorius Arrester, Whisper Agent. Fun fact, he used to be the Yellow Agent. Oh. Wait, then he wasn't uncommon, so. <laughs> I don't know if you're messing with me. So. I am. Okay. <laughs> Skewer the critics. Taste for mayhem. That's me. <laughs> Orzov. And <Klaus. laughs> Euthanist. Uh, Euthanasia. Uh, Wojek. Bodyguard. All right. I think it's a pretty close battle. Yes. Uh, it's leaning on your side, for sure. Okay. You know, I'll take it. I'll take that responsibility. Yeah, you put, you that correct, weight. Uh, that, that chromatic lantern is a nice one. That is pretty cool. I really like that. Robot. Yeah. Spirit. Okay. I like that spirit there you has go. attitude. Oh. Godless shrine. Another shock land. That's a hit. I'm going to put that aside Big there. Hit. Ooh, and a Simic Guildgate. Hollow. Hollow, nice. Hollow. Okay. Oh, it's not It's not a pain lance. It comes in tempt. Yeah. You know what? Get that out of here. That's not going in the special pile. <laughs> Moldervine cloak. Like what? Just because it's shining, I don't, I don't like shiny stuff. Yeah, ooh, a Rakdos one. Nice. Bedeck? Bedeck? I think I have to run a five color Bedeck. And Bedazzle. Bedazzle. <laughs> I Bedeck, he Bedazzles. <laughs> <laughs> We're two kooky cats in the same place. <laughs> Cartel Aristocrat, consider us for real world. <laughs> Devouring Light. I love his face, he just looks Or Burial like... Grazer. I thought he was smoking a cigar the first time I saw that, but it's just a oh, Which kind of makes does. way more sense. Yeah. For the art pieces. Mm hmm like, Just got a big old stinky cigar. <laughs> so if you and Victoria were in a Starburst packet, one of those two snack packs, what color Starburst would you be? A two bird, ooh. One of those like, you know, Halloween ones? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I would be like the pink one. The, wow, that's a bold, that's a bold claim. Yeah, I'm that's like a, a little sour. Any thoughts? <laughs> I would guess I wouldn't have picked him as that one. I wouldn't either. I was going to go orange, actually. Yeah, I was going to say he was orange as well. So. No, just because I'm a redhead, you have to go right there. I personally there. think orange is the best flavor. Orange is the probably the best flavor, but I have the complexion of pink, so. Okay, well, <laughs> leave it in the comments. Like just neon comments pink. Here. <laughs> a pink or an orange. I am, yeah, I'm I'm strawberry incarnate. Let's be real here. Worm, Gruel Guildgate, okay, comes in tap. More human advisors. <laughs> okay, I think you have like 30 advisors. I need 12. <laughs> Dark, Dark Confidant. Confidant. Nice. That's pretty cool. Is that a, a little keeper? Or yeah, that's so, a keeper. Well, I mean, we put one in the pod before, but I still think it's a, it's a nice little hit. Okay. It's a mini hit. Orzov Enforcer. Mm -hmm. We got Azorius Guild Mage again. We got Experiment One. Okay. Gather Courage. Greater Moss Dog. Bernati 
Bernati. That's a pretty card. Man. I honestly love that soldier card just based off the artwork as well. I think their armor is really cool. It is. It's very, it's very neat. It's like the elvish armor from Skyrim. Yes. You know what would have been a better crossover than uh, Fallout 4 and Magic the Gathering? Skyrim? Skyrim. Skyrim? Come on, guys. What are you doing? I mean, it's, it's medieval fantasy. What are you going to do? The leapfrog. And you could do all these things with, like, shouts. And then yeah. you could just down a lot of things. Like, if it has flying, just take it away. That would yeah. be so fun. Could have been great. But at least we have dog meat. We do have dog meat. That's the only <laughs> card worth considering, I would guess. I, I haven't played it, though. I haven't played it far out. Far out. <laughs> far out to you, bro. Far out sounds like something I would play, honestly. I mean, honestly, isn't that far out? Isn't that a, What is that? What is that game? It's a far Cry. Far out is like a rhythm-based shooter based in the apocalypse. Hey! Hey, Sparling! Go. Let's pass it over. We've got Golgari Signet. Very nice. A seal of the guild pack. Oh! Ooh, very nice. Choose two colors. Each wow, spell that you cast costs good. one less to cast each one of those chosen colors. Okay, that's a hit. That's okay. nice. Let me put that aside. All right, we've got Demon Fire. Uh, Fungal Rebirth. That might be something. It, it goes in. I, she already has one. Remand, um, Crokinura, Crokinura, mm -hmm. Crok, I'm gonna call him Crok. Uh, demolish, open the gates, <laughs> open the gates. Eyes of in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Compulsive research. This Tori. poor guy. I'm totally lost. <laughs> uh, armory guard, blind hunter. All right. Almost, that's bird adjacent. Bird adjacent. Disembowel. Uh, Scorched Rasalka. All right, two All packs right. left. Yes, two Still more. no anime arts. God dang it. Right. Just draft packs, though. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, we're going for Shocklands here. Right. We got a Goblin. Hoblin Goblin. Uh, Goblin. Azorius Guild Gate. Oh, we got oh. Call of the Conclave. Oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's very nice. Selesnia Guild Gate. Oh, God. We got Dreadbore. Okay. We got... Nice kill card for two. Yeah, Sk Sky Hussar. Uh, Gruul Guild Mage. Cerulean... Sphinx, Silhana Ledgewalker, Mortis Strider, uh, Helium Squirt. Well, that just seems inappropriate. <laughs> Summary. <laughs> Summary judgment. Um, it's a Hadouk and Boomerang. Hadouk and Boomerang. Oh! You Dob Hoblin Rat. Why is that not a legendary? I don't know. It just looks like the artwork would be a legendary. That's um, a classic MTG art right there. Yeah. Demir, House Guard, and Burning Crop. All right, last one. Big All hand. Right, let's go. Big hand. Let's go. Let's go. That's the anime. No enemies. All right, we've got Zabe. We've got Orzov Guildgate. Kogari, Thug. We've got, ooh, oh, Cloudstone Curio. That is a huge hit. All right. And I'm going. All right, to... let's read that one out. Let's read that one. Out. What's that? Uh, <laughs> a a non-artifact permanent enters the battlefield under your control. You may return another permanent you control that shares a permanent type with its owner's hand. Putrefy, overwhelm. We got Rakdos Guild Mage. We got Siege Worm. Mephitic Vapors. Uh, Kasmina's Transmutation. Conclave Equinox. Nice. Repeal, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Sewer Shambler, Shamblers, Mugging, <laughs> Huggins <laughs> Mugging the Mugglers. What happened to you? I got mugged by a Minotaur. <laughs> 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 One of his eyes is plucked out. Gosh, Jesus! All right, so let's review your hits and see what we got again today. All right, all right. So we have on the hit list. <laughs> on the hit list, yeah. Full Art Borderless Cloudstone Curio. Cha-ching! Seal of Guild Seal of Guild Pack. Hello! Dark Confidant. Again. Godless Shrine. And don't you forget it! Blind Obedience. Mm-hmm. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Vice Demolish in there! <laughs> what? What? It it's looks shiny! Pretty. Yeah. Fine, I knew that. <laughs> Stomping Ground, two <laughs> pain lands, and a beautiful chromatic lantern. That is a hell of a hit. Ooh. All right, and your prize today. And the dragon, dude. And <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> your prize is you get to be the one to open up our collector booster of Ravnica Remaster. Yay! This is the guy, Niv-Mizzet. Here we go. Yes. Anime boys. 
All right, all right. Not boards, but like anime cards. Yes, no, this pack is a little different. He's stumped. I'm stumped, dude. This is like um, like the sword, like Excalibur in the stone. Like, if you're worthy, you can you can get it out of there. They do make the pack of it just like slightly thicker. Yes. They ought to be. Oh, oh a sapperling! A shining oh, sapperling! Oh my god! Let's pass that one down. Ooh, that's really nice. Is it oh, Arclight Arc Phoenix. Phoenix? I like that one. It's the old. Oh, oh, we got an anime. that is a huge hit. We got an anime girl artwork, Divine Visitation. That Let's... is the hit of the day. That's a okay, nice one. I'm gonna sleeve that up real quick. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. That's an enchantment. If one or more creatures would be created under your control, that many four-four white angel. Creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. You're welcome. Big there you go. Hits. Okay. All right. We got more cards here. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Hit the surprise button. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do. And the verdict is you're going to like more videos. Uh, su Supreme verdict. It's a good card. Ooh, we got Ooh. Thrash and Threat. Here we go. Is that a Thrash or a Threat? We got a. <laughs> Friend or foe? <laughs> Thrash or threat? Um, they're centaur cards. Red and blue, uh, red and red and green beast creature tokens with trample. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Centaur's been like a big theme this set. So it's Absolutely. Shambling, shambling shell. Hmm. Very nice. Can you imagine if a shambling mound from D and D was in a cannon and they were sending shambling mounds over to you? Just in a big like. That sounds like a pretty good way to start the next campaign. This DM's crazy. <laughs> no, he's crazy. <laughs> we got Putrefy. That's retro the uh, retro. We've got Orzov Guildgate. Very yes. nice, white black. Ooh, Rakdos Guildgate. A lot of Guildgates. But it comes in tap, so you might as well rip it from your. Yeah, you might as well cut it in half and destroy it. <laughs> Night Vale Predator. Okay, creepy. Get out of my window. Uh, Devouring Light. Very nice. Very That's nice. me. Every time I go try to go on vacation. Ooh. Yeah, you can see that your face actually right there. It's right off on the side. Yeah, we gotta wear SPF uh, million. Uh, Rakdos Pit Dragon. Nice. Very cool. It's a dragon that doesn't fly. You have to give it flying every turn. See, that's what that's. That's no go for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's a disappointing card. Uh, Blade Brand. Because the dragon should have flying always, and they sure. should just instantly win if they attack. Well, it seems a bit off canter there. <laughs> Coiling Oracle. Sewer Shambler. Shambler. Okay, and we got ooh, a hollow wild canter there. You go. there. That's, a good one. That's the pull of the day. That's the pull? That's the pull of the day. All right. Well, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So the biggest hit today, being. Absolutely beautiful divine visitation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how much the card currently goes for. I'm sure you can probably put the price in if you want. Yeah, but definitely the coolest card we pulled. One of the uh, more sought after ones is the full, full, the full art anime. Mm -hmm. uh, Cyclonic Rift, always a good hit. But this one was my number two that I actually wanted to pull. That is amazing. Yeah, look at this. See this? Dragons have what? What do you? What do they have there? Uh, a six six. Oh well. You know, I'm trying to point at this, the, the fly. Oh, yeah. Well, it's got fly. Don't be ableist. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you all for joining us on our big box opening of draft for uh -huh. Ravnica Remastered. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Zach, and you. providing your expertise. Oh, uh, we finally got him. Hey. You know, I just had to take out a mortgage on the house in order to get him. So. I tried by the yeah. All right. Until next time, Scarjo. Yeah. Take us out. Bye. Okay. <laughs>